Hi, it's Janie. I get week two. First, we're going to start off with a pull-up. All right, we're going to be working the back muscles. I'm going to show you here. Engage the back muscle and release. Engage the back muscle and release. And you're going to do the same thing, but a pull-up. Lower, engage the back muscle, and pull up. Lower, engage the back muscle, and pull up. Modification, you're just gonna get a chair. I place my feet on the chair, just the toes, so it's taking away some of the body weight. Lower, engage the back, pull up. Lower, engage the back, pull up. Last time, engage, pull up. One more modification. You have your tubing. Grab it, sit on the floor. All rules still apply. Engage the back, pull down. Release, engage the back, pull down. Your assisting muscle group is your bicep. Engage the back, biceps, and release. Good job. All right, we're gonna be doing alternating lump lunge jumps. All right, my spine's straight. There's that cord. Glutes are squeezed. You're gonna be working your glutes, your fanny, your quadriceps, and your hamstrings. All right, and your heart rate. We're gonna come down into a lunge position. Knees do not go over the toe, and then we're gonna jump. Hook. Work in your core as well. Last time. All right. Modification, you're just gonna come straight out, like you did in week one. Your modification is alternating lunges, like you did in week one. Out, down, knee does not go over the toe, back up. Out, down, over the toe, and back up. All right, All right we're going into a yoga push-up. Spine, straight, that little core is still there. You're gonna be working your chest, your triceps, your glutes, your hamstrings, and your quads. Also core. All right. You come in into a push-up position. Squeeze your fanny. Elbows do not go over the wrist. When you come down, you're in a do downward dog position. You swoop, go into cobra, swoop back down, and back up. Down, up, swoop down, back up. Last time. Swoop, look up, down, and we're done. Good job. Modification for the yoga push-up is your knees stay on the ground. Wrist do not go, I'm sorry, elbows don't go over that wrist. You just swoop down, cobra position, scoop back. Down, up, and back down. Breathe, exhale. One. And now we're going into the jump squat. You'll be working your glutes, your fanny, quads, front of the leg, and hamstrings, back of the leg. Don't forget that gas, you guys. Whenever you come up, you squeeze your glutes, squeeze that fanny like you got gas and you can't let it go. You're gonna go down to the squat position, make sure your knees do not go over the toe, and then jump, land softly when you come back down. Modification, you're just gonna go down, jump up, jump up, jump up. Works your core. All right, there you go. Now we're going into the double crunch. You're working your abs, your rectus abdominis. Think of your abs as from the rib cage down to the pubic bone. It's not upper, lower half, it's all one muscle. When you come up, you're gonna think of your abdominals as a taco. Bring it all up. Chin's going straight up, 
knees are already engaged, and you're going to squeeze. Double crunch, and back. Pubic bone goes up, chin goes up, and back down. Contracting, release. Contracting, release. Contracting, release. Modification, just keep your feet down. Same rules apply. Taco. Pubic bone goes up, chin goes up. Release. Release. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. All right, we're going into an alternating leg plank. It's just a little harder than week one. You're going to come down on your elbows. Make sure your elbows are parallel to your shoulder. Extend your legs out. Your feet are hip width apart. You're going to extend the leg. Hold it here. You will feel your abdominals as well as your back. And also, you'll feel your glutes and your quads. Release. The other leg goes up. You're holding it. Isometric on your glutes, your quads, and your hamstrings. You're working your abdominals and your back. Think of it a bridge. And release. Modification. You're going to do what you did on week one. Knees go down. Let the knees carry some of the body weight. And just hold it. There you go. 